Katrina was born just six days earlier as a tropical depression over the Bahamas. Two days later, it made its first landfall as a Category 1 hurricane over southeast Florida. The brief interaction with land caused minor weakening, but it didn't last long. It's a term we've heard many times in recent years, but it was unfamiliar at the time. Rapid intensification. That's exactly what happened when it hit the warm open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. It soon became a rare Category 5 storm with winds reaching 175 miles per hour. By the time it reached the Louisiana and Mississippi coasts, it had weakened to a Category 3. But the storm surge was still massive and the impact was devastating. 80% of New Orleans flooded after the levee system failed. Highways and roads collapsed, stranding tens of thousands of people. The Lower Ninth Ward was especially hard hit. The hurricane force winds blew out windows in downtown buildings and significantly damaged the Superdome, which was serving as an emergency shelter. Mississippi also suffered serious damage. A storm surge of nearly 28 feet was measured at Pass Christian. The storm and its remnants brought rain, winds, and a few tornadoes along a path that extended all the way to Canada. 19 years later, it's still the fourth most intense hurricane to strike the United States. For the National Weather Desk, I'm meteorologist Emily Gracie.